Welcome back to Terror by the Bay. I'm David. Okay. Uh, Kamala Harris went on Fox News today, sat down with Brett Bayer, and from what I've read, had a rather contentious interview with him. Not that that's a surprise to anybody, because you wouldn't expect them to be cordial. They expect them to be aggressive and attacking. And probably not being particularly fair in the process. Meanwhile, Trump had a town hall yesterday or today with a bunch of women saying he's the king of IVF. And what came out later was that this Fox town hall, Fox selected the women that would be there and pretty much they were all ardent Trump supporters. So it's not exactly playing to a hostile audience. And there is the difference between your two presidential candidates in a nutshell. One has to be pampered and treated with kid gloves because he's very fragile and has a very fragile ego and he's a little snowflake. He might melt under the mildest of heats, all the while claiming he's an alpha and thick-skinned and stuff like that. And then you've got a strong, powerful woman who will go into the lion's den and and lock jaws with them, lock horns with them for 30 minutes or however long that she was in for that interview for. Okay, let's take a look at the Kamala Harris interview and just look at the energy around that and we'll do any follow-up questions that come from this, okay? Let's do this and this will be for entertainment purposes only. Uh, Kamala Harris interview on Fox. Give me the energy around this. Okay, my deck is upside down. Foundation of the reading is the moon card. Okay, so it could be many, many layers. Uh, you have lunacy, but you also have mysteries and mysteries being revealed. Uh, Kamala Harris is a mystery to probably many Fox viewers because why would they watch anything that she would do because it would be on Fox News and Fox News is going to paint paint her in a certain light. So she did the crazy thing and she went on there and people could see who she was in the comfort of their own home uh, with their home field advantage on this. Crossed with the Six of Swords. Her messaging was that we're trying to move on. We're trying to move forward. We're trying to get past <coughs> the turmoil in the past. And she was challenged on that uh, by Brett Baer a couple of times. And she basically said, no, people are tired of the drama of Donald Trump. They're tired of the last 10 years. They want to move on. So in some ways, her going over there uh, was kind of placating uh, the fears of a of the Fox News or the Fox Entertainment's audience. Um, that doesn't mean it was a pleasant experience because it, it, from everything I read, it doesn't look like it was a pleasant experience. But she actually went on there to offer up her ideas, much like Pete Buttigieg uh, can do. Pete Buttigieg goes on there and he does really well. So, you know. He, he's he, he's kind of the trailblazer on this one. You can follow that path. But, you know, knowing what you're getting into, of course. In the past, you have the Justice card. Um, I'm drawn to her years as being a district attorney, an attorney general, uh, later a senator, and then a vice president. So, you know, she's got... Um, the nerve, the uh, the steely nerve, and the quick wit that is required to be a district attorney and attorney general. You know, you and and the funny thing was when asked about some controversial issues, she just said, "I'd follow whatever the law says." She was asked about decriminalizing the border. She said, "Yeah, I supported that in 2019. I don't support that now. I'd follow the law, and I wouldn't decriminalize it as vice president, and I wouldn't do it as president." When asked about uh, transgenders, <laughs> people getting transgender surgeries in prison and the taxpayers paying for it, she pointed out Donald Trump followed the law with that in 2018 when they were showing clips of that. Again, they were just rage-baiting their audience. 
And she says, I would follow the law. Because he's like, what would you pay for, make the taxpayers pay for that? Her response, I'll follow the law. It keeps things simple. Current situation is the three of wands. It's only three weeks to the election. She made an appearance on Fox Entertainment. Did she change many people's views? I don't know. Not she wouldn't change the cult members' views. She's not going to change the never Kamala's views. Those guys, they're never going to vote for her anyways. Uh, if there were more moderate people that hadn't been exposed to her, yeah, maybe she'll get some of them. Show them that basically she's not that bad. Overarching Angie's the Nine of Pentacles. She at least tried. <laughs> she went out and reached out to them. Uh, I don't believe Biden What in Fox News. I can't say I would blame him. They were the full-on propaganda network for Trump. Why would you Why would you do that? Might as well just go to TASS in, uh, in Russia and do an interview with them. It would be as legitimate and um, <laughs> non-propaganda-ish as uh, Fox News would be. Lesson to be learned is the hangman. Again, not a pleasant experience. Um, it's not a fair fight. You have to fight with your hands tied behind your back and hanging from one foot upside down. But she went and she did it. She showed courage in the face of the unknown. That's more than you can say about Donald Trump. <laughs> Sitting in front of a hand-picked audience who will... Who will just listen to his lies. Out comes the fool card. Was she foolish for doing that? Maybe for some people. But it's a new start. It's a start to her new administration. And for the Republicans out there who just say that, oh, you know, she doesn't talk to the media. She's talked to the media now. For ones to say, well, we want the, the Democrats keep saying that they're going to, uh, you know, be bipartisan and reach out to Republicans, reach out across the aisle. She at least went there. She got treated like, probably got treated like hot garbage. I can't say she was treated like garbage. I didn't watch it, but she was probably treated like garbage. But she still did it. Well, Trump is, you know, not going to 60 Minutes and not going to various, uh, uh, other events he's, he's ducking things while she's bravely going forward and basically acting presidential okay um the trump campaign has already started their attacks on her disastrous uh fox news interview i wouldn't put much weight on it i mean it gives us something to talk about other than Trump, you know, foaming at, at the mouth, uh, which they don't want to talk about. It gives something to talk about, but it's non-substantive, -subs, non and it's not going to change anybody's mind. The people Trump, that listen to Trump already listen to him anyway. So there, it doesn't look like there's much downside. But let's look at um, let's look at the the potential. Let's look at the upsides of this uh, visit. Okay, Four of Cups, the emotional walking away. You know, it's funny because she was saying she wants to get away from the drama of Trump. And that was the message she was giving. Now, she also went into, again, went to the lion's den and walked away. Her messaging was she was going to be the president for all people and to look, you know, joy is back. Happiness is back type of thing. That's been her campaign. That no, again, that she is a person. She is a person of law and order. Although the justice card is more representative of that, but um, you know that she's going to be her own president. She tried to clarify that while she uh, acknowledged that she said there was nothing, no decision Biden made that she was would have second guessed. At the same time, said this would be my administration. I'll be doing things the way that I do that. And when pressed on it. She really didn't have much of an answer to give them other than my life experiences are different and I'll make my decisions based on what I want to do. They just they want to make her Joe Biden and she wasn't biting it. But she wasn't going to backstab Biden either. Hmm. 
what were the positives the emotional walking away you know trying in some ways like that six swords trying to calm things down take the emotion out of it you know she's going to govern for everyone she's looking for the best for people and she's wise she's intelligent she's wise and she she's a decision maker she's looking forward to the future stop living in the past look to the future that was the positive that came out of her uh out of her uh, time with fox now i'm torn because i could read on the negative but what point does that serve i mean seriously what point does it serve i mean i could read on the negative and say all oh, the negative is this and then you're just gonna say oh they're just a bunch of republicans do this or you start wringing your hands up oh, what if she cost herself votes she's not going to cost herself any votes anybody who wasn't going to vote for her is still not going to vote for her people that will vote for her are still going to vote for her it's the undecideds and the undecideds may decide that they don't want to vote for her but that doesn't mean that they're going to vote for trump it just means they're not going to vote for her on the other hand the undecideds may say you know she's at least not crazy and I think that's that's what she was coming across, is that she's not crazy. She's even killed. She's um, not ruled by her emotions. And um, she will follow the law. Law and order president. Nice, normal presidency. Might be enough. Not much just more to say this. I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching this video and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Uh, this, re this reading is for entertainment purposes only, but I hope you did find it insightful, and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.